welcome to Office. I'm your best friend, Cake, and today I'm going to revive the spooky chord random generator thingy that I did last year, but this year I'm gonna put a little twist on it. Probably not an original twist. I have a feeling this has been done before. I don't care. It's roll for chord! I have made a very lovely spreadsheet with columns uh, detailing the style of cord I'll be wearing, the main head thing I'll be going for, and also the main garment that I'm gonna be styling. But I've left everything else off because this is a styling challenge and I feel that all the other things are what can really help you sell the three things you've been forced into. And I, I, like, I like a challenge. Like, I was tempted to, to put on there a theme like circus theme, cat theme, but I decided that would result in me being frustrated instead of uh, challenged in a fun and entertaining way. So the first thing we're gonna roll for is the style. This was just me testing before, I promise I'm not, I would never cheat, except if I didn't like the answer. So we got a three. So I'm going to be doing a casual chord. Now let us see what type of thing must go up on my head. A bow. That works for casual. I should highlight these so I don't forget. Okay, finally, we're gonna see what type of garment I have to style. I'm very grateful for this. This makes my life a lot easier. So it's gotta be a casual jumper skirt cord with a bow. I can totally do this. So I'm gonna have to stretch the interpretation of casual here because ultimately it still has to be a cord I would wear. So that being said, I have narrowed it down to two jumper skirts. The first one is one I've used in a video before, how to style one jumper skirt 10 billion ways. I think I ended up styling it six ways. Simple, black jumper skirt, really easy to keep as casual. However, to me, this is still quite frilly and I'm less inclined to wear very frilly cords in a casual setting. So I'm sort of taking the casual style, the casual. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, Hannah, that's Otome. I know, but it's my show, I do what I want. So I'm styling this without a blouse to keep it casual, but it is fall and I am baby. So I shall be wearing a cardigan. We've got a nice drop shoulder. We've got a poofy bishop sleeve, lantern sleeve, whatever. And let me just mess around with how I want this. I saw this thing where you mess with the way you button it and then it's all cropped and stuff. Oh, I don't think I'm doing it right. Oh my gosh, okay, the rabbit goes around the log. I am not getting into Mensa, am I? Oh, oh, we're on to something now, are we? Okay, the knit's too chonky, I think, to support this style, but here's 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 what it did. A whole bunch of flipping and folding, and, and in the end, it doesn't even matter, you know? Honestly, looking at the length of this crop and the length of the skirt, I actually think it's better for me to sort of leave it where it is, once I add some volume here, it's gonna be a whole thing and it's gonna be fine. So far, this is downright normie. This is not even eye-catching. No one would bat an eye at this. Let's continue to style it so it's like cohesive though. And let's find a head bow. Wow, all right, first confession, I neglected to put hats on my list. I'm not gonna re-roll, but that was unlike me. I, I apologize. I actually have a lot of bows. And it's weird because sometimes a bow can take you into over the top territory. Like this cute angelic pretty one, so frilly, drippy chocolate on there. You know, this becomes a lot. But it could also be so simple like this antique beast little clippy clip. And then there's this little bow, but it's on a band, which to me makes it bigger. For my wedding, for the ceremony, I wore a headband, but then for the reception, I opted for little clips. And honestly, I credit Lolita with that decision because I've worn a headband all day before and it hurts. And also I get very greasy. So I knew by clipping my hair back, I would be in less pain and appear a bit less greasy. Ah, uh, psych. Of course, I'm gonna show you more pictures. And there's some videos in here too. Uh, these are, I think, good photos for showing off the dress. 
obviously there are more important photos in the arsenal, but this is this is the fit check, okay? You can see the dress, the streamers, the headband, the parasol, which I borrowed, uh, and then, okay, here's, you know, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cute moment, I think. Everyone was masking up as per our request. Well, almost everyone was masking up as per our request. It was, it's a weird, it was a weird time. It was a weird time to get married. Um, there's my brother-in-law helping me with aesthetics. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. My little hair clipped back for the reception. See there it's all on my face had little matching earrings it was great uh, and there's you know us trundling around in a tight circle that is about all I could manage the dress was heavy and also I don't really I don't really dance unless I'm intoxicated and I was too nervous to do that I wore a suit too okay bye I've narrowed it down to either clippy clip or headband. What's fun about this headband is I actually bought it at Closet Child at the same time that I bought this jumper skirt. And I did buy them to be worn together because it's got the little key on it. So maybe, maybe it's gonna be the headband. I can hear the key bobbling against my skull. I'm conflicted because this is very cute, but it's a little bit less under the radar as like a simple, if I just pull back the top half of my hair and throw a bowl in the back, which to me is more of the brief, casual. Okay, we have to try it to find out. It's more casual, isn't it? It is. And I feel more comfortable. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. That just leaves finishing touches. I'm gonna figure out socks. I'm gonna figure out jewelry. I'm gonna figure out shoes. Uh, maybe I have to figure that out at the same time as socks. BRB. I did socks and shoes first, cause I knew in my heart who it was gonna be. And that's gonna help me style the accessories. Right? Right is cute. Am I even gonna add a peg? Of course, I have to add a peg. Just put the levels one for a very exciting ride. Cardinal sin to do what I'm doing, but I am a professional. You can tear your petticoats if you're wearing shoes when you put them on. So never do it if you're borrowing someone's petticoat. But once it's yours, do whatever you want. Yeah, this is cute. Why am I so good at this game? Mm, that's why, okay. I hadn't clipped it into itself. It just sort of smashed the mechanism together. I'll tell you what I really like about this. The chunky knit sweater the big buttons, the frilly socks, the, the little brown shoes. It's a very wholesome little look. But as a person who is pushing 35, I don't feel juvenile in it. I feel like I have a lot of opportunity with accessories here. I don't wanna do too much, but something. I feel like necklaces sort of pull it a bit more over the top, but brooches? Those are safe. It would be nice if I could pull out the theme of the dress a little bit. So these little mushrooms might be good. I do like this little pennant necklace and this little moth. Mmm. I do think the little mushroom brooch is the way to go. It pulls out some of the colors of the dress and also mushrooms are a theme in Alice in Wonderland. I bet I could find a mushroom. I bet the caterpillar's sitting. There he is. There's my guy. Motifs. We're cording. I think this is really cute, but I do want some earring. I'm gonna try on these drippy honey jelly ultra babies to see what happens. I like them. It just adds a little bit of something because I have the bow on the back of my head. And I think it's still on theme, honey in your tea. There you have it, my first roll for cord cord. And I don't think I would have ever done this if I hadn't done the roll. I'll share the sheet I made below. And I'll add hats to it. That was weird. You can use it as a template to make your own and then you can do your own styling challenge. Today's creator shout out goes to Yasako. I have not purchased these yet because I'm waiting for some fabric to stock in her shop. She made fabric with these sweet little peaches. She also made strawberries and also Help, help me. It's so cute. She also made these super cute Luna ones. And nail stampers. 
Come on. I hope you've been doing well. I hope this was vaguely entertaining. And I hope you give it a try if you also like styling challenges. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again after not too long. Bye!